the next segment of Ask Todd. Today we're going to get a little technical and we're going to have some fun explaining what is TPE, what is TPU. People ask that question all the time. I think a lot of people don't really have a complete understanding. Uh, at COEX3D we offer a full line of flexible filaments and we call that COEX Flex. Now COEX Flex does consist of TPEs. So I want to start by saying this, TPE stands for thermoplastic elastomer. Basically what it is, it's a combination of plastic blended with an elastomer, some type of a stretchy material, and that's a broad category, is TPE. There are two specific types of TPEs that we manufacture. So to get a little deeper into it, TPUs are a category, a subcategory of TPE. That stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. Urethane being the key. The urethane is the elastomer that makes that up. It's a specific type. TPCs, on the other hand, stands for thermoplastic copolyester. And that copolyester blend is going to give some different properties and categories or, or, or uh, different properties to the, the physical material. So let's start off showing you some actual filament. This is an ultra soft TPU. Now as I hold that filament, you can see just how flexible it is. It's literally like a rubber band, making it fairly complex to print. We make this in a natural, we make this in white, we make it in black. Um, then you go to the opposite end of the spectrum, which is our most uh, rigid TPE, and this is a, a durometer of 60D. Now we have materials that range from 60D, 40D, 30D, all the way down to 60A. I know it can be very, very confusing. With a quick, simple Google search, you can look up what's called a shore hardness scale. We're showing an example of it here, but the shore hardness scale is easy to find on Google. You can find lots of different images. You'll probably see this exact one when you look for it, but it will give you an idea of where does the, the filament line up, where does the plastic line up on that scale. So kind of to wrap things up here, TPEs, when people use that term, realize that that is a fairly broad category. And when you're thinking about, I want to print flexible materials, I want to know if I can do it, what am I going to be making? Um, it really depends on the application that you're needing, and then also on the printer setup that you have. Uh, be a little careful when you're buying flexible materials, because you want to make sure that your printer is capable of doing that. You can always email us at support at coex3d.com and we will be happy to guide you through that, talk you through it. If it's easier, we can talk on the phone, but start with that email to support at coex3d. So again, to wrap up, TPEs, broad category, TPU specific subcategory, generally speaking, they're going to be the softer of the TPEs. TPCs, which is a term that we don't hear all that often, oftentimes that just falls under the blanket of TPE, but TPC stands for thermoplastic copolyester, and there's going to be different applications for that in different hardness scales that you can do. So I know that's a lot. I hope it helps. Take a look at the documentation that we're including in here, and uh, don't ever be afraid to reach out and ask for specific help.